Uh, additionally, 27353, another patent. Additionally, a copy of the USA Today that entitled XNSA Chief Backs Apple on iPhone. Uh, additionally, from Science and Technology, uh, an article that says Department of Homeland Security awards $2.2 million to Malibu, California company for mobile security research, and in other words, an encryption proof, uh, break, unbreakable phone. Uh, additionally, and lastly, uh, the article uh, in uh, uh, Politico today on the New York judges ruling uh, in favor of Apple. Without objection, they will all be made a part of the record. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. The gentleman is recognized for five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Justice Scalia said it's best, it said best what I'm going to quote almost 30 years ago in Arizona v. Hicks, in which he said, there is nothing new in the realization that the Constitution sometimes insulates the criminality of a few in order to protect the privacy of all of us. I think that stands as a viewpoint that I have to balance when asking you questions. As I understand the case, and there's a lot of very brilliant lawyers and experienced people that know about all Ritz Act, but what I understand is that you, in the case of Apple in California, are demanding through a court order that Apple invent something. Fair to say that they have to create something. And if that's true, then my first question to you is, the FBI is the premier law enforcement organization with laboratories that are second to none in the world. Are you testifying today that you and or contractors that you employ could not achieve this without demanding an unwilling partner do it? Correct. And you do so because you have researched this extensively? Yes, we've worked very, very hard on this. We're did, never going to give up, but we've worked. Did, did you receive the source code from Apple? Did you man, demand the source code? Did we ask Apple for their source code? I don't, not that I'm aware of. Okay, so you couldn't actually figure, hand a software person the uh, source code and say, can you modify this to do what we want if you didn't have the source code? So who did you go to, if you can tell us, that uh, you consider an expert on writing source code changes that you want Apple to do for you. You want them to invent it, but who would you go to? I'm not sure I'm following the question. Well, you know, I I'm going to assume that the burden of Apple is X. But before you get to the burden of Apple doing something it doesn't want to do, because it's not in its economic best interests, and they've said that they have real ethical beliefs that you're asking them to do something wrong, sort of their moral fiber, but you are asking them to do something, and there's a burden. No question at all, there's a burden. They have to invent it. And I'm asking you, have you, have you fully viewed the burden to the government? We, have, we spend $4.2 trillion every year. You have a multi-billion dollar budget. Is the burden so high on you that you could not defeat this product either through getting the source code and changing it or some other means? Are you testifying oh, I see. that? I see. I would, uh, we wouldn't be litigating if we could. We have engaged all parts of the U.S. government to see does anybody have a way short of asking Apple to do it with a 5C running iOS 9 to do this, and we do not. Okay. Well, let's go through the 5C running iOS 9. Uh, is, does the 5C have a non-volatile memory in which all of the encrypted data and the selection switches for the, uh, the phone settings are all located in that encrypted data? I don't know. Well, it does. Okay. And take my word for it for now. So that means that you can, in fact, remove from the phone all of its memory, all of its non-volatile memory, its disk drive, if you will, and set it over here and have a true copy of it that you could conduct infinite number of attacks on. Let's assume that you can make an infinite number of copies once you make one copy, right? I have no idea. Well, let's go through what you asked. And, I, and I'm doing this because I came out of the security business and this befuddles me that you haven't looked at the source code and you don't really understand the disk drive, at least to answer my rather you know, dumb questions, if you will. If there's only a, a memory 
And that memory, that non-volatile memory sits here, and there's a chip, and the chip does have an encryption code that was burned into it. And you can make 10,000 copies of this chip, this non-volatile memory hard drive. Then you can, you can perform as many attacks as you want on it. Now, you've asked specifically Apple to defeat the finger code so you can attack it automatically, so you don't have to punch in codes. You've asked them to eliminate the, the 10 and destroy. But you haven't, as far as I know, asked them, okay, if we make 1,000 copies or 2,000 copies of this, and we put it with the chip, and we run five tries, 00 through 04, and then throw that image away and put another one in, and do that 2,000 times, won't we have tried with a non-changing chip and an encryption code that is duplicated 2,000 times, won't we have tried all 10,000 possible combinations in a matter of hours? If you haven't asked that question, the question is, how can you come before this committee and before a federal judge and demand that somebody else invent something if you can't answer the questions that your people have tried this? First, I'm the director of the FBI. If I could answer that question, there'd be something dysfunctional in my leadership. Now, I only asked if your people had done these things. I didn't ask you if that would work. I don't know if that would work. I asked you, who did you go to? Did you get the source code? Have you asked these questions? Because you're expecting somebody to obey an order to do something they don't want to do, and you haven't even figured out whether you could do it yourself. You've just told us, well, we can't do it, but you didn't ask for the source code, and you didn't ask the questions I asked here today, and I'm just a, I'm just a guy the that did electronics The time of the gentleman has absence. expired, and the director is permitted to answer the question. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Do so. I, I did not ask the questions you're asking me here today, and I'm not sure I fully even understand the questions. I have reasonable confidence, in fact, I have high confidence, that all elements of the U.S. government have focused on this problem and have had great conversations with Apple. Apple has never suggested to us that there's another way to do it other than what they've been asked to do in the All Writs Act. It could be when the Apple representative testifies, you'll ask him and we'll have some great breakthrough, but I don't think so. But I'm totally open to suggestions. Lots of people have emailed ideas. I've heard about mirroring and maybe this is what you're talking about. We haven't figured it out, but I'm hoping my folks are watching this, and if you've said something that makes good sense to them, we'll jump on it. We'll let you know. Thank you.